Welcome back to KJOU 11 News, and we are taking you out of this world. Right now, the Expedition 70 crew has been in space for almost 70 days. Their mission launched on September 27th, and they aren't expected to land until spring of next year. Joining me now is Commander Andreas Mogensen, Flight Engineer Jasmine Mogbelli, and Houston's own Laurel O'Hara. Laurel, we'll start with you. We caught up with you a few months ago as you prepared for this mission. How has the experience been so far? Yeah, so far this mission has been incredible. I had really high expectations for it and I think it succeeded every single one of them. Um, it's just been a blast living and working in space. Uh, the crew has been awesome. Um, we get along really well, share a lot of laughs. Uh, the work has been super interesting. Um, all, we do something new pretty much every day. And then of course, getting to look at Earth and um, just getting to float around never gets old. Oh, I'll bet. Andreas, next question for you. What's your favorite part about being in space? Uh, without a doubt, it's sitting in Cupola, our window module, and looking down at our beautiful planet. It is incredible what we can see uh, from space, and uh, the Earth is, is truly magnificent to look at. Uh, you very quickly realize that it's one single planet that we all share together, um, you know, and um, you also realize that there's absolutely nothing in the vicinity that in the vicinity that in any way resembles the Earth. This is all we've got. The Earth is not only our home, it's our only home and, and we have to take care of it. And it's just beautiful to see from space. A sight only a few have seen for sure. Jasmine, this question for you. Can you tell us more about the purpose of the mission? Sure, absolutely. Um, first and foremost, you know, we're in the, the lab right now. So our mission is research and science. And just as part of living and working in space, we also have to do things like maintain the space station and maintain our bodies. But we do um, research and studies on so many things. We have experiments mounted on the outside of the station that are looking at Earth and, and each has different different sensors measuring different things. You know, we have a the way in uh, which our orbit is, we pass over a good portion of the Earth um, as we go throughout our mission every few days. And so we can track changes over time. Uh, we study our own bodies and how they react to space, to weightlessness, to radiation, to all the different things up here. And that helps not only us go on uh, further in future mission missions, but also helps uh, for medical research back home. And then we study lots of different things as well, like different materials, combustion, all sorts of things that help us understand, uh, understand things back on Earth. Laurel and Jasmine, you both participated in the spacewalk about a month ago. What was that like? Uh, the spacewalk was amazing. I think it was one of the most incredible days of both of our lives. Um, it was awesome because it's something that we've been training seven years for. And so to get, get, to, get to go and do it in real life um, and just experience that was amazing. Um, it was also, uh, just it was challenging and it didn't go exactly the way we hoped and getting to work through all of those um, challenges that we had with the support of our ground team um, was just it was a memorable experience that we'll never forget. Um, also, like Andy was talking about seeing the Earth from Cupola, um, it's pretty neat to get to see Earth when you're actually outside space station in your own little space capsule. So those were some views that uh, we definitely won't forget. And Laurel, have you seen Houston yet from space? Could you pick that out? Oh yeah, we've all seen Houston and actually every time we fly over Houston or even close to Houston, uh, you can usually find all of us uh, glued to a window trying to take pictures or just waving <laughs> everybody down there um, since uh, that's all of our home and that's where our family and friends are. So it's pretty neat. Uh, also, you can see Houston from a long way away. So, you know, when we're out over the Pacific Ocean, like over Baja or, you know, far up north, close to Canada, you can, on a clear day, you can look down and see the Texas coastline in Houston. It's cool.
Ooh, that's we love hearing that. All right, Andres and Jasmine, you were both part of the SpaceX Crew 7 launch. How does this experience differ from others? Uh, so one of the uh, really cool things about uh, Crew 7 is the fact that we were four different nationalities. Um, it's the first time that uh, astronauts from four different countries launched on Dragon together. Uh, so I thought that was a, a good example of the international co collaboration that underpins the International Space Station. All right, all three of you, we certainly appreciate your time. And real quick, Laurel, because you are from Houston, is there anything you'd like to say to Space City? Absolutely. Uh, I just want to say a huge thanks to the entire city of Houston for all of the support and enthusiasm that you give to NASA and the space program. Uh, I know for me, growing up in Houston is a huge part of how I got interested in space exploration and human spaceflight. Um, and that started me down the path of a really memorable career. So I think that Houston is a very special city. And I just want to say thank you to everybody down there um, and all my friends and family who are following along with this mission and supporting us every day. So thank you, Houston. All right. And we know you all will be up there for the holidays. So we wish we could send you some buckies up there. But uh, Laurel, you'll have to explain that to the other two. Thank you all. That's it for us from Earth. And thanks for, jo for joining us from space.